I don't want to seduce ladies at the moment, you know, because there are cars passing by me right there. And, uh, I might be a little bit too sexy, you know? Know your place, yeah, know your place, yeah. I got It's a completely right different now. game, it's a completely different setup. Right here, right now, I did a lot of growth. Since the moment I signed up for this thing called YouTube, I'm here now with my assistant. He's behind the camera. He's holding the light so it perfectly lays in my beautiful skin and my perfect body. And there is another guy over there, El Khan Kamidze. He's a fucking semi Azerbaijanian dude, but he's a really, really good guy. He's a really great photographer. He's been responsible for my photography lately. First of all, I want to say thank you so much, guys, for continuously supporting me on Instagram, continuously supporting me on YouTube. I know I'm not putting out enough videos, and I know I promised you so much and so many times, but uh, my life gets a little busy and I get a little lazy here and there, to be honest. Uh, maybe because I'm overloaded with the, the work that I'm doing with clothing nowadays, and uh, also, uh, actually didn't do this type of videos for a very long time. And uh, people that don't really follow me on Instagram, but know me on YouTube, or Follow me on Instagram, but I don't get to read, you know, all of my messages or all my captions. Um, I have been, I completely changed my path in bodybuilding. I, I think I'm going to be jumping in a lot of topics here, so hang with me. Um, my bodybuilding path has changed, you know. Before that, I was so much into it. I was so obsessed with bodybuilding. I was so, so obsessed with gaining muscle. I was so obsessed with competing and thinking about doing Olympia and this and that. But my life took a little turn. I got off juice. I got off juice one year ago. Um, I've been doing TRT. It's a testosterone replacement therapy. Uh, a lot of people can say, oh my God, mother, you're an asshole. You're still uh Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. Go ahead, guys. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Yeah, we're, just, we're just winging it in the middle of the street, you know? How's that light? Is it still perfect? Step back a little bit. <laughs> this is funny. Uh, as I said before, I got off juice and I've been on TRT. Uh, since, you know, I stopped juicing and people say, oh, you lied that you juiced before. Come on, man. I've been always honest. I, I, I told you what I was doing and, and this and that. But this is not the point. Um, and since I got off juice, I started focusing more on business aspect of my life and business aspect of bodybuilding and uh, my place in it, you know, and the brand of Golden Aesthetics. And uh, now I'm creating a new label. I created a new label. It's going to come out on Friday. It's Golden Aesthetics Black. It's something that is going to be, you know, streetwear, uh, mainstream, more fashion oriented, but still with a, you know, with a, a little bit of elegance of athleticism because I, I truly enjoy um, athletic body, you know, an athletic, athletic figure, athletic posture. And I think the designs that bring that athleticism from the human body, they look stunning. That's at least to me. Um, I know it's a hot topic, you know, how you're feeling without juice and uh, how you're recovering. It's been a great journey to me, of course, you know, staying on TRT and, and, and doing testosterone replacement therapy. Um, it definitely helps, you know, it definitely helps keep the muscle fuller. It definitely helps with, uh, you know, metabolism, recovery. It definitely helps, but I'm 33 years of age and um, I've been juicing for two and a half, almost three years in my competitive career and getting off completely cold turkey and at such a young age and still to be uh, trying to be, you know, relatively competitive or, or relatively relatable still in the fitness industry. I have to be in great shape. So I think this is one of those things that I will probably do it continuously because it's actually healthy for the man over 30. Golden Aesthetics Camp is happening in uh, four about five weeks in San Diego, I wanted to invite everybody that is willing to join us. I think we still have like two or three tickets left. And it's a great experience for people to not only learn about bodybuilding, not only learn about nutrition, not learning, only learn about how to exercise correctly and how to prep, how to pose. It's more of a lifestyle experience and uh, we're bringing Nick, Nick Santos, Santos, I think I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'm, I'm saying his last name right. He's a really cool kid and he's going to do a motivational speaking. I'm going to bring a UFC fighter um, with his functionality class and I'm really hoping to bring Lila Brada. We'll see how that works out. Then it will be a great idea, it will be a great camp, great experience for everybody. Not only just for you, also for us to um, actually to meet people that follow us, meet people that support our brand, people that support the movement, people that are into uh, golden aesthetics and the golden era of bodybuilding and the lifestyle that comes with it. We're going to cut these videos up a little bit because I said before, I really want to um, kind of make up for the time that I've been absent from YouTube with actually this kind of videos, the videos that connect me and you, the people that are actually out there in the world and people that are sending all this positivity towards me. You definitely guys are changing my life. 
uh, as I said before, since getting off juice, uh, everything took 360. You know, not only just workouts and my nutrition, which is actually I step. I had to step up because you really have to be on point with everything because you don't really get no passes that you know the anabolic steroids can give you. So I'm staying on point with that. But I'm just in general in, in point in terms of my thinking, in terms of my mentality, my spirituality, everything 360. You know, I became a lot calmer. Um, I become a lot more patient. Uh, become a lot more flexible with people and a lot more calculative and cold. Before that I was, I have a hot temper naturally and this was something like that was always getting me in trouble, especially if you're on juice and it's very hard to hold yourself back from getting into argument or, um, you know, even just negative moods, not only, uh, you know, in confrontation with someone, just thinking and uh, it's really draining on your mind, it's really draining on your life. That's why uh, not very many bodybuilders are happy people, you know, because they're going through these mood swings all the time, depending on the hormone levels and uh, you know some of them are forced to stay on forever you know and uh, since you know rearranging my life it's all good babe yeah. so we sometimes you have to interrupt the videos because of the people they're taking a little bit of time to pass by are we rolling okay so those guys say is that the mentality took a 360 turn I became a lot more positive individual when you become positive other things just start happening for you, you know, your, your mind is in a better way, better place, you think a lot more efficiently, a lot more productively. When your mind is obsessed with some negativity, uh, you can make bright decisions, you can make logical decisions, everything is sort of based on anger and emotion. When you're in positive state, when you're in positive mood, you can be a lot more calculated, a lot more relaxed with your thinking. Uh, and that's what's happening to me, that's why my business was able to improve, because I actually dedicated a lot more time to it, a lot more you know, a lot more patience because what I do with garment industry in LA is uh, it's, it's really hard on the nervous system because people are late and you know, there are defects in production or in dyeing or you know, in the labeling there's, or in printing, you know, there's a lot of things that go into it and if I was, you know, aggressive as I used to be, I don't think I would be able to handle it productively or efficiently and that's what's, that's what's really happened and that kind of, you know, the, your mind um, controls your life, you know, it creates, you know, everything around you, you know, it attracts people that you want, it attracts things that you want, you know, it creates circumstances and conditions for your living and if your mind is not in the right place, you're not going to be in the right place either. So, you know, this year I've been working a lot on my mentality. There are a lot of things, there are a lot of issues that I would probably would love to address because a lot of people have questions about this or that and why I'm not going to golds and why I have a problem with this guy, why I have a problem with that guy. I don't really have problems with anybody personally because I stay in my own, like how they say, my own lane, but I'm actually paving my own path, you know what I'm saying? I'm not staying in my lane, I'm paving my own path. Uh, and I'm going to run through anything that set us my way, you know? So I don't really listen or hear anybody. But I know it's out there because I see the comments and I see people, you know, tagging me. That doesn't really affect my thinking. It doesn't really affect the decisions that I'm making or directions that I'm, or I'm taking. I think it just motivates me to work harder because the best response to the hate or the best response to negativity is positivity and success. And that's what I've been working on very, very hard. Um, I'm going to make a series of this type of videos where we, uh, we're going to talk about different things and uh, especially on nutrition and training. I know I'm sure. A lot of people would love to know how it is to train, you know, natural. I know I don't have that many of much of experience training uh, with anabolics. There are people that know a lot more about cycling and how to get on, how to get off properly. I'm, I'm a newbie uh, in this game. I wasn't a very sophisticated uh, user because I wasn't really competing for that long. It was two and a half years. There are people that do it for decades. I'm talking decades, and uh, you know, the experience they have on me is is. It's tremendous, you know, so I can give you what I've gained through my own knowledge, through my own experience and I tend to think of myself as a smart individual because I have a, a ton of experiences and I learn from my own mistakes unfortunately, but I, I did learn from them because if you don't learn from your mistakes, you're stupid, you know, because usually smart people learn from other people's mistakes, only fools learn from theirs, but it, it is what it is and I'm moving forward and I'm willing to share this experience and share this knowledge with people that are out there and want to make their successful their life successful. As I said, my life has changed and I've changed my approach to this game has changed as well. I no longer chase the gains or you know how, how to be muscular or how to be symmetrical. It's all it's all a hobby, it's all my passion on the side. But there are a lot more important things, better things in life, bigger things in life 
that you should be worried about and not obsessed with the trophy or this and that. If you have a bigger vision after behind what you're doing with this sport, any other sport and the hobby, then it's all worth it. And I have a bigger vision behind what I'm doing right now. And I feel like, you know, competing and all this stuff, that's not the route for me anymore. It was maybe at the moment, but my life has changed, my mind has changed, and my priorities have changed. And I want much bigger things, and I feel like I'm making way more impact on my family, on my relatives and my circle, and then the rest of the world doing what I do now. And I'm truly enjoying it. I'm very, very passionate about it, and that's, that's the path that I'm taking right now. I think it's very important to go after things that excite you because they're not random. They're somehow connected to the ultimate purpose of yours. And that's what I've been doing most of my life. I think I'll make a video more of a detailed video on, on my story because I think it's going to be very cognitive, uh, very uh, informative for people that come from very, you know, poor backgrounds or for immigrants that, um, you know, just come to America or come to any other country or move to any other city, you know, to start their life over again because I've done that plenty of times and uh, I feel like I have this, you know, this this tremendous wealth which is knowledge and experience that I've gained throughout my life because I was taking these wild swings in my destiny. Um, I can share that with you and maybe you can learn from it as I said before and smart people learn from other people's mistakes and I'm very much willing to share mistakes that I've made in my personal life with you so that way you can benefit and, and move forward and improve your life, improve your physique, improve your mind, improve your uh, social status, your financial everything you, you know this is uh, I feel this great responsibility on my shoulders I don't know why I'm also enjoying um, doing this I'm enjoying to be in front of the camera I'm enjoying the public speaking I'm enjoying motivating motivating and inspiring people because I man I wanted to be a priest at some moment and I left the monastery and um, somebody told me you're you're the chosen one you're the teacher you know and I always felt that way even my my nickname was uh, before it was a v-neck it was a preacher, you know, so I would walk with the Bible around my neighborhood when I was a little kid and, I, and the kids would say, hey man, the preacher is here, the preacher is here. And I was preaching the Word of God, you know. But in all, in all honesty, I was searching for truth and that's something that comes to me naturally, you know. When it comes down to clothing, uh, that's another adventure that I'm taking on right now and that's something that you can also learn, not necessarily do it for clothing, you know, do it for any other hobby, for music or poetry or acting or engineering, whatever you guys do, or even fitness, whatever you guys want to do, because I took on this uh, thing with the risk and it, it worked out because I'm truly obsessed with it, you know. Yesterday we were driving this car with this kid and this kid is ridiculously good looking. You're going to see he's one of my models for Golden Aesthetics Black, he has a big future, but he's just too obsessed with pussy, you know, because it's so easy for him. But it doesn't matter, we'll talk about it later, about pussy obsession. It's real. So we were driving yesterday and then uh, we were on the light and there was come of like black girls come up to us like, so what would be the advice you give me in life? I was like, uh, to, to do get what? To get money, to get rich. And people that chase money, all they chase money, they're usually poor because they try to find the satisfaction in materialistic things, you know, but Life is way beyond that. Life is about doing something that you love, something that you're truly passionate about, something that you're very, very talented in. Um, I don't think I ever chased money. I kind of always wanted to be rich. It's totally normal. I come from poverty, you know, and I do want to have nice things, and nice clothes, but that's never been my priority. That's never been my goal as a uh, ultimate purpose of who I am or what I want to be in life. I always just wanted to find myself. I always wanted to discover the talent that I have something that I'm going to be better than others, it's not even just good, something good at, something that's going to make me someone that's going to create value for the society, whatever that value can be. I always wanted to discover that, I want to discover myself uh, and going through this, this, all these experiences, taking on things that were truly exciting to me at the moment where I was um, really passionate about the numbers, all those things created certain skills in me, you know where I'm able to do things that I'm doing right now, things that I'm very passionate about. Because if I wasn't doing this bodybuilding and competing with bullshit, I wouldn't be doing this right now. I would be standing in front of this car because people that kind of start following me from the very beginning see my growth, not only just uh, as a physical growth, also mental. And the way I changed, you know, I was a kid when I moved here to California. I was 29, now I'm 33, I've been here for four years and I've been up and down and now it's, it's also the same way. It's kind of up, but it's still down. You know what I mean? I'm still going through those um, failures in my life and I'm just really taking on them and I'm enjoying them because they make me a better man and just a better human being. I can really talk and talk because it, 
throughout this year, as I said, I think I was just, you know, putting out videos like, you know, training camps and, you know, workout videos. They're lame. They're boring. It's just dude working out. What are you going to take, what are you going to take from it? Learn from it. I mean, uh, I guess you just look at his body. You get sort of motivated to, to have the same physique in a way. But I think videos could be a little bit more inform informative, beneficial. Something that you're going to get up and, like, your brain is going to turn on and you're going to start thinking and you're going to start being productive and you're going to start going and doing things and moving from the point where you are up and up and up because I think that's what the life is all about is continuously keep getting up and keep getting better and keep perfecting yourself keep perfecting your skills and I guess just being a better man every single day that's at least life was it was it is what it is for me and to follow up with what I was saying is if you're chasing money you know, you're never gonna have them you know or if you get them you're still not gonna have no you're not gonna be that satisfied it, it, there's no point in money there is no point in materialistic wealth if you're not wealthy mentally, you know, and spiritually. This is Artemis Dolgan. This is uh, Santa Monica. This is a very beautiful day. I really wanted to uh, make this video to reconnect with everybody, you know, give them um, a little bit speak of my life. You know, I guess you see it on Instagram and um, you see it on IG stories, but I think it's a little different when I say it in person like this. And um, it's not scripted. That's just the way I am and the way I live my life. Everything is very simple. I am a very simple dude. I'm not really a party and it, you know, it's all work for me. Everything that I do is uh, um, is all work, and I'm willing to put in the work. I'm willing to. I've done all the parties. I've, uh, I got it all in my system. Right now, I'm very focused on uh, creating a successful company and helping my parents, helping my family, and um, just being a better man. I really do want to do acting in the future. I'm getting myself into CBD and weed business, and uh, actually, that's uh, another thing that I wanted to share with you. Uh, we're putting out the supplement. Head was word supplement. This, call it the lifestyle enhancement complex uh, based on CBD I'm testing it right now and as soon as I I'm done with the test on myself I will uh, you know tell you about the benefits but for those of you who you don't know what CBD is highly recommend you to uh, to look into it and, and January 1st we're gonna start putting out this the pre-workout with uh, sativa strands in it so uh, there's a quite a few different things I'm working on right now but this is gonna be my next venture and acting of course acting the calling is done I really just have to put the voice over in it it's also finished there's another film that we shot in Chicago that's really also very motivating um, piece of work also from me and my brother I want to say that actually very big thanks for Mike Doggin for coming out here yesterday and I count everybody that surrounds me you know I'm surrounded by a very good team very good people uh, people that help me to create a better product and move forward. I'm, I'm very, very helpful. I'm very thankful and grateful for the people around me, for the people that hold this thing. You know, so my body is, is lit up and, and and flowing and glowing. You know, it's 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 a wonderful it's a wonderful place, and it's a wonderful time where I'm at in my life. Just because I'm staying positive. So those are uh, the things that I'm working on right now. And of course, Golden Aesthetics Black. It's it's a new label. It's as I said, something never been seen before. And that's the gap that I'm going to close in fitness industry because there is no one out there putting out nice quality stuff designed you know personally it's all track suits from China with the private logo on it or whatever you know so uh, I'm working very hard of being very just being me and then being an individual and not following a common well-known path and taking my own and paving my own path I think it, well, thank you guys one more time for subscribing to the channel thank you so much for sharing the videos uh, I'm gonna do more of a like inspirational, motivational talking because that's what I'm truly enjoying and I feel like I'm truly good at it. And we're gonna mix it up with the workouts and see how it works out. Thank you guys again. This is Artemis Dog and it's a beautiful day. You want me to walk away? Know your place, yeah, know your place, yeah. I got like right now.